Hello, everybody, and welcome to Playing Games with Strangers. Uh, I'm your DM tonight. My name is John, and we're on a new uh, recording system. So, knock on wood, hopefully none of us get logged off tonight. And uh, With me this evening, I have my good special buddy, Dave. Hey. Uh, his good special buddy, JS. Hey. Everybody's good special buddy, uh, Josiah. Pew, 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 pew. That's my, <laughs> that's finger guns. That was, uh, and everybody's special buddy. That is a uh, girl Celeste. Hello. And nobody's special buddy squid. Yeah, hey. <laughs> Ouch. Hey, what's up? That's wow. Nasty. Wow. Wow. Hey, I'm going to go. I'm just going to leave. <laughs> <laughs> I kid. But with that being said, and my own personal drama not no longer spilling over into my announcements, do we have any Patreon stuff to talk about? Yeah. Be a patron. It's cool. <laughs> Great. We have new stuff coming, which is to say you'll be able to watch us live again. I don't know. This, this YouTube channel is pretty, working pretty well, so... I don't know where we're streaming it to. YouTube. Uh, YouTube. <laughs> Who's YouTube? <laughs> it's a uh, playing game with strangers YouTube. It's our YouTube channel. I forget that we have yeah. one. Yeah. What's hey, up? if you got a Gmail, you yeah. got a YouTube channel. That's fair. Welcome to YouTube, Celeste. <laughs> <laughs> I've never All right. been here. Do we have any merch updates? We don't, but I had a really good idea. I'm just going to, I'm going to spitball it. So I was thinking of making like an adult size onesie that just says babies first BBEG. Yes. But can you make no? a onesie that is poo? Yeah. Like a, a one, a poo onesie. Yeah. A poozy. And have it be <laughs> we'll, we'll make a onesie. We'll make a onesie that has poo on it. And yeah. across it, it says, I pooed my onesie. <laughs> <laughs> just honestly i would normally be for like all for this dave but just the idea of putting on an adult onesie right now makes me want to <laughs> die of heat stroke so <laughs> sounds like the worst idea no, i mean like heard. never mind i was never mind i was gonna say something i won't all right. uh but no um Don't actually there is account. kind of a merch update uh we are considering going to a pre-order only merch uh set up just for the ability to have some better quality designs rather than going through something like Redbubble that we currently do right now. Uh, some embroidered stuff. Uh, just we want to give you guys better quality stuff than what a lot of these print on demand places can give you. So that's kind of an update. And I think I personally think this is a good idea. Um, I love my and percent shirt that I got, which was one of our first pieces of merch we ever had made. But it, like the keeper, is disappearing, and that well, he kind the of did, irony. So, yeah. The irony isn't lost uh, on me. However, he has also left my shirt, but it's because I scratched him out. <laughs> Razor blade. Yep. Just, Get that off. I'll have you know that that being died so Callum could live. So there should be a little bit of appreciation here. I appreciate the keeper. He appreciates who he serves, who also died so that Callum could live. So there's my message for this evening. <laughs> <laughs> With that being said, Josiah, I think it's your my turn? turn. Okay. Your turn. Yeah. Hey, let's let's play the theme song. Let's do it. I don't know how loud this is going to be, so enjoy. <laughs> Cover your ears. Playing games with strangers You know there's no danger So come on in, we're all friends Playing games with strangers It's normally the part of the show when I would come on and tell you what happened last week, but uh, I wasn't hearing. From what it sounds like, a lot of things went bad. Uh, 
stay tuned, I guess. I don't know. Hey. I guess I'll do it because I had to catch Squidly up. Uh, let me find my notes here real quick. That's a lot of... Did that, all that stuff actually happen? Oh my god. Yes, green. it did. We recorded for five hours. <laughs> That's right. All right. So, in our last session over the last couple of episodes, Emrin uh, had a chit chat with Rhoda. And after that conversation, uh, Aileen put Emrin back, her, her soul back into her body. Uh, and uh, that was, that was kind of scary. Uh, Aileen uh, attempted to protect the soul stone from the assassin Mira, who showed up again and was trying to take the soul stone because she has this odd obsession with it that I can't quite figure out. Then um, Aileen cast Fascinate on Mara so that we could get more information from her and so that Mara would trust her. Um, Wilder is very concerned about Alel's whereabouts and gives Mara the rundown of how important the soul stone and Rhoda are to Emrin. We catch up on the fact that she is death once again. My notes are terrible. Uh, Orbog wants to be the aspect of taxes, but Wilder suggests the aspect of foot in mouth. Wilder has a sleep paralysis situation and gets visited by a voidless, shapeless, not shapeless, Leona. She reaches in his head, gets rid of some memories, and then they get brought back by Callum with some extra information. They all have a long rest. Uh, Aileen talks to Loki Tom Hiddleston. Keith sacrifices himself to bring Rhoda back, and Kai fought Zeos, got his legs torn off, and we had to bury the poor guy. And everybody went to bed crying that night. I'm not crying. You're crying. I I'll tell you what, man, that scene was not emotional for me when we did it, but listening to it again today to as I prepped, I, I hurt myself. So <laughs> let we're going to go ahead and pick up uh, Emrin your eyes start to flutter open and the first thing you see is a fully embodied and living Rhoda hugging the woman you know to be the murderer of your siblings as she's weeping and saying thank you to this woman. I'm just going to close my eyes again for a second and then open them up. <laughs> just see if it's still happening. Oh yeah, it's it's still there. I don't mean to interrupt. Hi. Hello. It's me. You know. Emrin! Hello. Oh, oh, look. Emrin's awake. I put my face over. Oh, oh hello. <laughs> I get uncomfortably close to Emrin. How are you feeling? Are you better? Uh, was I not good? Oh, you weren't great. No, you, you were not great. Then I think I feel better. Yes. Oh, good. Oh, can I, I get like you to anything? Understand, yes. What's happening here? Why is... As Pooh moves out of the way, uh, the blonde-haired lady is not there anymore. Hmm. A wise choice. A wise choice. Um. Hi. How? Um. How? How? I think that's my question. How? No. Me? No. How? How? Uh, <laughs> what? Keith Zach? sacrificed himself to make this happen. Oh. Um, I see. I see. Uh, I'm just gonna go hug Rhoda. Uh, she embraces you, and she, as she's embracing you, she says, I'm sorry, you, you were, you were right. You know what? I'm not gonna say anything, but I'm glad you're here. She just embraces you tighter. I'm going to hold her. Look around for any blonde people. That's it. I'm not letting her go. She's just going to be right, right here. Well, this is very touching. Is she? Is she gonna? Is she gonna ride you like a horse? She can walk on her own. That's okay. She's quite fine. She's better at it than I am, arguably. Yep. Especially with your busted wheelchair. Yeah. Thanks, Boo. Look at that face. Uh, I seem to remember that. My bad. Then. It's a bit. It's a bit foggy. <laughs> Probably from the impact of. 
I believe it was Pooh slamming into me, maybe? Uh, throwing a stick of dynamite at you. Oh, that's Two right. bundles. Two bundles of dynamite. That is, Sorry, two bu- I do, yes. <laughs> yes. I do remember this now. It's It was the blunt force trauma that kind of jogged my memory. Great. Yes. Okay. How long has it been since I, you know, wasn't standing? It's hard to tell. What is time? It's it's been an you're Callum asking raises the wrong his hand. Person. That's Callum's Callum's call. Yes, Callum. No, I'm just me. I am. Time. You are time. Yeah. That's it. That's just what time is go. it? What time is uh, it, Callum? Now. It's right now. And when what when was the last time that how much time between You know well, what? See, oh, you this know, is too some. I'd say there's quite a bit. The answer is some. Well, that's clear. That is all. Okay. The world just blew up. Did it? Oh, oh you mean I'm you mean just... the, you mean the tentacle thing? Yeah, I was there for that. I, I yeah. Yeah. All right. I mean, like, we have more important things to do than be silly. Well, I wasn't being. I was being dead serious. That's how time works. But yeah, it's fine. Well, uh, she was being dead. Well, so. she wasn't dead. I think she was just unconscious for a little bit there. You know, on the ground. Yeah. She was not dead. Yeah. Okay. We just briefly transferred her soul to a soul stone and then put it back. Yeah. Uh, so, easy, you know, speaking easy. of the world blowing up, uh, we should probably be doing something about that, don't you think? Maybe. Stopping it. Yeah. Nipping it in the bud. Well, We're I going to a, nip them. It's a little late for that, but I do agree with that. And also, I'd like to be, you know, me again, kind of. Wait, you're not you. Well, I'm kind of two people. You know, I think I'm not going into this again. It's a very confusing conversation for me to have. Oh, right. That I, conversation. I just... Because yeah. you are Callum, right? Yeah. I am I am me, but also, you know, Zeos has right. some of me, and I want, it, I want it back. So, all that. Right. We're going... To, well, yes. And, um, I, I, uh, I think it's time. All right. Right, Wilder? Um, I mean, we might... Do we do we need some things? Probably. Oh, uh, uh, yes. I was going to um Emren. Um y- yes. Could I fix your uh, wheelchair for you, your battle? Uh, how would I go about doing that? Yes. Um well, I believe if you were to just ask me that question, I think my answer is probably not. Um but that's you know, not any reflection on you well, as I, much I, as I'm I mean just not to sure. say that it was my fault. And oh, I just yes. want to um, fix what I did wrong. Right. Um, I think that if I took some time, I could probably get it working well enough. Um, I would throw out an arbitrary number of time at this point that I think I could do it in, but it would probably require me to roll something. So I don't know. <laughs> a certain number of hours. Uh, Two. I mean, well, yeah. Is there anywhere we could get it fixed quickly? I mean, I imagine probably wouldn't take me more than uh, like a day. I don't know, Callum came in for a second, just in that answer. (laughs) Oh, so Callum's a a mechanic now. Yeah. Yeah, Yeah. apparently. I would trust him with my wheelchair. Well, he has all the time in the world. Yeah, that does seem to be the case. Um, I think I can either get it fixed or we can find someone rather relatively quick. Well, I'm going to take that back. I don't know that we will be able to find anyone based on you know. Um, Where we're at, yes, based on the everything. That's probably, probably. I don't know the the tool set. Yes, this guy over here, that guy right there, he I looks like think. he knows what he's up to. Uh, that's well, that's a baby. Yeah, I don't think he's a very hairy baby. I well, think that's a, a dwarf baby. Well, oh, well, dwarfs are good. Yeah. With, that's a I mean, it's true. That's a stereotype. Mm-hmm. You know? I think if we just go find some tools, I should be able to. You find tools, right, I right, invent. right, right. I'll go find some tools. I'll be back. I don't know if he should go um, alone. Yes. Why Why are we splitting up? No, I don't think that's a good idea. I know as soon as I said it that it was probably the wrong thing to say. With I'm such already gone. <laughs> I'll go. I'll go with him if you want. You know, keep an eye. And I'm really good with tools. I'm Anything not, to keep know. Callum away from Emrin. Yeah, pretty much. Hey, uh, <laughs> I don't like her. Uh, I'm gonna go <laughs> with Pooh. 
<laughs> my best friend who didn't tell me that he really liked that girl. But it's fine. I'm over it. You haven't been around for very long. For for a while. It's fine. I'm over it, you know. I Yeah. Fine. Fine. Don't don't steal a wheelchair from some other person. You know that's I would an idea. Never think maybe of- maybe one of the people that aren't here anymore had a wheelchair that we could just find. I'll I keep my eye out. You know, I don't know. Maybe look for a house with like a ramp or something. It's usually a pretty good sign that there's some kind of mobility device involved in getting inside. <laughs> <laughs> this is why I'm allowed to come up with the big brain plays, you see. I'm always thinking of the easiest solution. You are a very smart one. Yep. Okay. We're moving up. We're not just looting people. We're looting houses. Well, first of all, my question for the two of you is how are you, where are you guys going? Well, yeah, I think that shop district would be a good place to start. And I bet you one of the shops there what? will have tools. Just going to go see if we can scavenge some tools from some of the shops around. You know, okay. Maybe find how, a cart with appropriately how are you guys going to get there? Oh, my feet. It's not like it's not too far away from us, is it? How how long would it take us to? Are we are we still underground? Yeah, we have to, we're just at the base yeah. of the stairs, though, right? Ah, right, that was when I was here. I guess I don't know where we are. You guys are underneath Castle Manlagar, which has been reduced to a mound of rubble on top of the entrance that you guys. Oh yeah. How did Callum get in last time? I went the long way, I think. Okay, so maybe not that way. But now. Also- to remind you, there oh. is an entrance to these the tunnel network in the tower. Yeah, I know how to get back there. Give me a sur- give me a survival check. I got it. I rolled an eighteen. Okay, um, and survival is uh, plus eight. So, uh, and he's oh, with geez. me, so he can't get lost. Yeah. So I, that I, I, is I know where I'm going. a free gimme from D and D for the ranger. <laughs> All right, uh, cut him. Yeah. Uh, this is the this is the way uh, that we need to go. Um, right through. Could I go with you guys? Um, oh, I could probably use a couple more daggers if we're oh, going to sure. yeah. be doing something. I mean, if we're going to be, you know, if we're making this, I'll get some more arrows. That'd be nice. Um, also, if we could find some more gems. I don't mean to sound picky. It's just that I'm I'm at you know the point in my life uh, where everything I want to do requires money. Um, so adulthood sucks. So you're a teenager. <laughs> yeah. It's real. I know I look like I'm in my 40s now, but I'm just hitting that that phase of life that things are expensive, you know, when you want to start casting stuff. Uh, so if we could find some of those and arrows, use some daggers, we get a wheel uh, and some wood and tools and we'll and be... some tools and I'll be right back. We're all, yeah, we'll, we'll all go. It's a, boys, it's a boys day. Boys shopping trip. Don't worry about it. Or about you staying with the ladies. <laughs> Poo and his bushwees. All right. So they're heading up towards wherever they're going. Uh, so Emrin, Aileen, and Orbog, what what's your what are you guys doing? Facials. Is it Wilder with <laughs> us too? No, Wilder came no, with no. the guys. You know, oh, for the boys trip. True. <laughs> Okay. Um, I I would just you know I'm gonna hold Rhoda as long as she wants to be held and then kind of I don't know is taking a nap an option I know I just woke up but Aileen is going to just kind of putter around and, and do little little things that need to be done um, like washing the rocks starting a cook fire making sure that packs are packed uh, or bog Yes, trader. Yes, about that. Um, that was what I was going to talk to you about. Um, I just wanted. I'm. Hmm, this isn't an apology. Um, I just wanted to inform you. This is more of like a like a FYI, I guess. Um, it's been, you know, I think for everyone, a rough few hours slash days um, slash weeks yeah. in general. Um, And given everything, I want to resend my previous threat. Um, That's it. Resending it? I'm uh, taking it back. Returning it to myself. Okay. Um, Just to say that. 
I'm not sorry I said it, but I'm not planning on following through on it right now, so I just, you know, I don't know. Okay, so I don't need this. And he's going to take off the armor. Well, I mean, I don't, I, given everything, I think having armor on is a good idea. You were wearing that even when she was unconscious. I am. Yeah. Uh, Did you think she was going to jump out sleeper. of a dead sleep and just unalive you? Well, I wasn't really focused on me when I was, when I, she was unconscious. You were sleeping I'm in the tin saying, can. That can't be comfortable. Hmm. No, it's not. And I also have these really cool magic tattoos that are still transferred to me. So I, you know, oh. don't really need armor that good. I was just, you know. This is, this is, that that's the one that made it so you couldn't be found, right? Isn't that? Is God. that the fancy armor? Yes, but it sounds like everybody's dead, so. It sounds like a lot of people are, except the people that need to be, actually. Which I don't know about you, but I would like to have changed. Uh, Personally, I would very much like it if that changed. So, um, so how concerned are we about Rhoda? Should Rhoda wear the armor? I don't think anyone's coming after Rhoda. That is, well, I don't think it's people coming after Rhoda that I'm most concerned about. So, um, hmm. Hey, Em. Yes. What is this dry, crusty brown stuff underneath my fingernails? Um, that's dirt. Chocolate. Honey. Yeah. Dirt? Yep. Tastes kind of iron. Why? Well, maybe don't 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 lick the dirt. It's, there have been a lot of questionable substances happening out there. It's dirty. It's dirty dirt. Um, we'll just go wash your hands. That's what we'll do. We'll just go clean you up. Because it's been, it's been a day. I know I said that already, but. I don't. Why are we underground? Um, well, (laughs) yes, lots of, uh, lots of things were happening and it was no longer safe to be above ground. Yes. That's the down low. Yes. Some very dangerous things were happening and it's safer here now. All right. And she kind of trots around to the other side of Orbog pulls out a band, pulls up one side of Orbog's hair, puts it in a ponytail (laughs) and the other one in another ponytail, (laughs) puts Orbog in pigtails. They're bonding. That's so Just what I wanted. Yeah, this is, this is what I wanted. The fact that he's letting her do that. I never could get Arlen to hold still long enough. That's, well, you just have to get bigger than them and then you can hold them down. That's what I learned as a big sister. I mean, I was considerably bigger than him. Have you ever seen a baby halfling? No. They are v- exactly. They're very tiny. You lose I also, them quickly. I'm, do baby halflings have enough are they hair? A quarterling or an eighthling? To, to style? Oh, he was quite hairy. Oh, okay. Maybe that's the baby Pusa. Was it a halfling? No, no, no. That it, it's not normal. Arlen oh. was a bit of a freak. Oh, I see. He did seem like that when <laughs> I met him. Rhoda, I'm happy you're alive. Yeah, you're all right. Thanks. Well, we're going to go back to the three guys because... Nut- Everyone sits awkwardly in a corner underground. Yeah. All right. Are we here yet? Are there yet? Uh, you're the one leading the way. Oh, yes, I am. Um, Right through here and... Um, and so this, this just leads right outside correct like right into it actually leads up to the basement of the tower you're right okay the basement of the tower that's right um so this should be the basement i open the the basement of what where i don't know know, i forgot to ask the the tower you know the oh yeah okay i'm keeping up i've now plotted a map in my head of where we are in the city great oh good your turn to lead then so we're just going up the stairs then? Yes. Or, then we I are. Will, then I will lead us up the stairs. Did Pooh just get passive aggressive? <laughs> Not intentionally. <laughs> All right, you guys get up the stairs and you open the door and you see a bunch of 
refugees just like it last time the last time Wilder and Pooh were here it was kind of sparse in this basement um but now like there's a bunch of people down here and they're all piled up along the hallways and whatnot this doesn't seem and, sanitary and Wilder you see you see Emran's mother uh, serving food and tending to the refugees that are huddled in this basement. And when you turn to look at the uh, staircase that you know goes up, you notice that um, the covering that was over the top of it, the trap door, so to speak, has been shut. And there has been boards put across it, the entry area. Uh, real quick, I assume I would have learned Emran's mom's name during that conversation. You know, I would assume that I probably would have known it too, being the DM, but I don't. Hang on. <laughs> oh, it's Emran's mom. That's her name, right? I, I don't want to address somebody as, hey, you. Her name is Hessa. Um, ex- excuse me, uh, Hessa, could I? Uh, oh, I know hello. you're busy. Yes, could- you again. Um, hi, uh, wow, um, a lot has gone on since I talked to you earlier. Um, well, um, yeah, that was because night happened, but, uh, what, how, how can I help you? Did you, do you need assistance? Uh, John, would I, well, I assume I would know, um, is there room for more people down where we came from? Yeah, I mean, there's a whole tunnel system underneath Towerfall. Okay, okay. I just wanted to get a better picture of what we were doing. <clears throat> uh, actually, um, my my friends and I, uh, Callum and Pooh, uh, this is Hello. Imran's mom. You might be able to figure that out. You don't oh. see a lot of Fontales here, but... Hello. Hello again. Um, Hello. Yeah, we... Uh, we're actually coming up uh, to gather some things. Um, uh, we, we came from the, the tunnel system through this door. So, um, Oh, is that where that is. door goes to? There's a sign on it that says danger. Do not enter. So everybody's been kind of steering clear of it. Yeah. I, Emrin was, uh, she's just making sure that nobody went in there just in case there was dangerous things. Mm. Uh, but uh, yeah, that, so, that sounds like her so far. No dangerous things, really, that I know of. Anyway, um, sorry, uh, I, I didn't mean to interrupt. It's, it's, how's everyone doing up here? Um, well, there was more of us, or more of them, rather. I've, I've been here since before the excitement happened. Um, e- excitement, like, well, like- just, you know, I guess, like, tentacles came from someplace yes yes uh, um, yeah no I've been I've been living down here for several months now uh, but let's see here uh, which I guess drove those tentacles drove a bunch of people into the tower um, and the door that give that accesses the basement opened up on its own or at least that's what I've been told Um and of course, with random tentacles, people were a bit reluctant to come down here at first. But mm. um, last night there was uh, some. Well, I, I I don't mean to generalize. And as she looks at Pooh, she goes, "But there was a lot of. Well, they just look like zombie versions of you." And she points at Pooh. Hey, zombie. Hey, hey Pooh. Yes. Does that sound familiar? Um, were they like kind of glowy, transparent like? Yeah, and they started opening people up like Christmas presents. And Ooh. so everybody ran down here and we barred the door. Yeah, it's not Christmas though, you know? No. Yes, um, yeah, we've uh, met them before. They're not very friendly, that is for sure. Mm, no. Different, different um, clan. So maybe you might, I mean, just for the sake of coming through here, you might want to 
try to look like something else for the time being i i don't i again i don't want to generalize but some people are here kind of traumatized and they may not be able to tell the difference uh yeah um i had a hat for that and now i just have a bowl hat um until you know put my cloak on and put your little hood up to do little hood don't you have a cloak don't you have a you don't you don't don't you have another cloaks as well yes i believe so just, you know, put uh, the hood up. Would you like to I, put on I the Mickey Mind Player hat? That'll do. <laughs> um, yeah, I pull out, I pull out, pull out my cloak and uh, put it on, um, and pull my my hood over. Okay. And um, and she goes, I, I, I seriously, I, I don't, I don't intend to. I completely offend. understand. Um, I've been a bugbear my whole life, and uh, let's just say that. I, uh, it happens. Um, so, you know, you're Imran's mom, correct? Right? Uh, yes, I am. You're, you're familiar with my M. Oh, yes. Wonderful. Lovely. Beautiful. Oh, she's uh, right. Um, and what? Nothing. Where was I? Uh, she's ran into a, a, just a tiny spot of trouble with her, with her chair. Uh, you know the one. You, uh, you do know. Yeah. yeah. Well, she she built her she built the chair, so I'm I'm not super familiar with how it works. But. Right. Uh, uh, do, I mean, I, I was wondering if she m- may have any older versions that she left around, or tools you would have to. That you she... would have to ask her about that. I. I the circumstances by which I ended up leaving my home were rather unpleasant. Um, Completely understandable. I just... And uh, I ha- so I, I haven't been back again for several months. Yes, I, I just thought I would, would ask because we're trying to find some tools to help her repair it. Oh, that's very thoughtful of you. Well, you are you. a very thoughtful bugbear. Well... I, I do I do try. Uh, thank you, and uh, thank you for your work here. Um. So. So, um, have have you have have you have the three of you eaten? Can can I get you some food? Uh, We've got a little time to eat, right? I mean, I I do have some leftover chili mac. I'm sorry. I just I know I just gave that to you yesterday. Um, I didn't get any yesterday, so it's 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 very chili pot pie. Chili pot pie. Sorry, chili mac was what I what I had for dinner. (laughs) Yeah, the chili pot pie is very very good. Um, I'm not quite hungry. Uh, I don't mean to be rude, but oh um, no offense taken. Um, if, uh, and she if, uh, she gestures to the two of you. W- would you care for some, or can I get you anything else? I'll, I'll take a smidge, but uh, we we are, we're kind of in a. Well, we've, we've got, got to know, save the world. Yeah, you know? we got some shopping to do first, and then we got to save the world. Okay, well, tell you what. Let me go ahead and fix you a plate, and you can just take it and eat as you go. A walking chili pot pie. Now we're talking. Sounds wonderful. You know, when this is all over, I think we should open up a food truck, poo. A food cart. Just. Oh. Chili we pot could pies have to go. Chili pot pies to go and some finger food. <laughs> That's exactly what I was thinking. That'd be great. Gross. <laughs> all right. So she she trots off and comes back. Um, actually, something that. Emran had noticed that the rest of you would have noticed as well about her is that her back left leg is um, in a uh, wooden contraption that comes down and has a wheel on it. So she ha- she also has a uh, mobility a, device. A, sort of like a wheelchair for one limb sort of thing. Callum? Yeah. Don't, don't, no, don't get any ideas. I wasn't going to take that one. It's not quite big enough. Uh, and then, yes, slightly and then, larger uh, one. She comes back and she's got two two uh, paper plates. And she she hands it out and there's a mound of chili with a crust uh, a crust of cornbread on the top of it. 
Oh, this looks delicious. And then she hands you some plastic utensils. And she's like, I wish I could uh, give you some better uh, uh, serving implements for this. Honestly, but, the fact um, that she gave us utensils at all. Yeah, like Callum already has a handful of it. <laughs> <laughs> who are, oh, who, who shoved the whole like paper plate and everything into his mouth. Oh, oh yes. That, I haven't that's, been that's... a bugbear my whole life, only most of it. So I can't quite digest plates the same way as him. Wait, there, there was a plate with that? Oops. I've always been proud of the manners. Just some fiber. Well, what a healthy appetite you have. Well, I'm glad I was able to help you out. If you guys need anything else, please let me know. Um, I'm supposing you probably are trying to get to the surface then. Oh, yeah. Uh, also, uh, just, just in case, um, as I said, through that door, there's a series of tunnels... Um, you, you should be able to find Embrin. <laughs> well, I'll tell you what, I, being as I am not super great with directions, I'll say when you come back, you can lead us there. Okay. Great. Done and done. Guys, we should probably yeah. go. Let's do it. Let's hit the road. Uh, she, she goes up and she, she kind of takes the wooden bar off the door and reaches over and grabs the lever and pulls it and it go, it, the floor rather the ceiling starts to raise and she goes be quick I need to shut this soon oh yeah uh, I think she's gonna give us all a quick pass without trace in case there might be more of these you know whatever they are up here that sounds good to all of you sure I am the night or, or the day in this case um, and as you guys get to the top and the uh, door, the door starts to close back down and becomes one with the floor again. And as you look around, the scene is it's pretty gruesome. Uh, not to go into too much detail, but uh, you've seen cleaner slaughterhouses. Yeah. Um, I know that this was probably the wrong time to mention this, but where do, do you think we should have left one of the Sending Stones with them? Yeah, I actually just thought about that. Yeah. Oops. Oh, well. That's laid plans. Uh, I guess we're off to the store and we'll... I'm trying not to look at all this, but, you know, we'll... This. Hmm. Yeah, let's just make it quick. Three hours later... Before we leave, uh, would I notice if there are any military people, people that could have weapons on them, or is this very much Anyone just that looks common wealthy folk? with gems? <laughs> I'm going to tell you this: being able to discern an entire person, let alone who they were when I, they were amongst like the living, say, is difficult. You said opened like Christmas presents, so we should be able to see everything already. <laughs> no, oh, trust got. me. Trust me, you seeing everything that was on the inside of that Christmas present. Am I seeing any jets? <laughs> <laughs> Were there any of those inside the Christmas presents? <laughs> Gold <Okay>. teeth. <laughs> let me okay. let me rephrase my question. Would I see weapons scattered anywhere that appear useful? Okay. That would be a more practical question for the situation. <laughs> Uh, I'm just used to having to find and loot bodies. Oh, you're used in my to having to do that? Yeah. So in no, my you're... imagination, <laughs> okay. I'm, I do it. Uh, for those of you who are trying to loot this massive viscera, uh, go ahead and roll a uh, investigation check, please. Oh. Ah. Caleb is not lucky for Christmas this year. Nineteen. Four. Six. Uh, uh, cold so, again for us, Pooh. Cold again like the water? Cold again. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Yeah, you... You find a dagger. And it's... The blade of it is kind of a swirl of obsidian and steel. And the hilt 
is complete is a completely black uh, spun leather, and uh, at the base it's just like it, it looks like a normal light a normal dagger with the exception of just this oddly colored blade. Okay. Um, considering it's an oddly colored blade, uh, I would like to cast detect magic. Oh, it lights up. Okay. Uh, and hold on. Let me give you the school because that's a part of detect magic. School of magic is illusion. Okay. Alrighty then. Um, did you guys find anything worthwhile? I found this. Oh, we're we looking for things. Uh, nope. I found some water. I think it's water. I got a little distracted by I'm this. Sorry. Okay. Um. What did you find? Well, he said something. Uh, this this dagger. Um. It's interesting, and I show it to them. I, uh, I. You should use pick, it. Yeah, I'm picking up some kind of like illusory magic. Would you just call me? Um, it, I'm I'm picking up some I- illusion magic, uh, which is interesting. So, so maybe it's not even a dagger at all. Maybe it's a sword disguised as a dagger. That would be... I don't know that'd be super You never useful, know. But could be, I suppose. Magic's weird, but Callum, you're uncomfortable. We can leave. Uh, sorry. It's not yes. so much that I'm uncomfortable. Focus. It's just that I can't find a space to stand that isn't, you know, occupied. Yep. yep right. Yep. right. Let's keep moving. Yeah. Get some stuff. Get back. Attempt to not draw too much attention to ourselves, as I don't want to fight a bunch of ghosty bugbears. But I will if I have to, but... You know, I think they only come out at night. That's when the freaks are out. Uh, it is morning right now, by the way. Yes, exactly. Great. Well, we let's go safe. find some daggers, some arrows, some gems, and a wheel and tools. Yep. Okay. Uh, I'll follow you. I've kind of found a dagger. I could always use more, of course. Wonderful. Hey, Pooh, do you remember where that, uh, that shop was that you got your bowl at? The bowl shop? Yes. Was I with you yeah. when you got that bowl? Was I no. there? I don't think I was. No. Do you think you can get back there? Because I like oh, to go there. Of course I can. I most definitely can get to the bowl shop. Yeah, I got to the bowl shop. <laughs> I'd like to go into the bowl shop, please. How is it looking in the state of, you know, the world? Um, It's kind of leveled. Like, the majority of Towerfall is pretty much destroyed. I'd like to, you know, pick through and see if there are any remaining bowls that are alive that look pretty expensive. What is it with the two of you and expensive-looking bowls? I have purposes for my bowls, okay? (laughs) This is part of our grand plan. (laughs) You're missing out. I'm going to need a really expensive bowl. Yeah, we're going to have a... An expensive cereal buffet. That's what we're Oh, doing. you're going to make a hero's feast. I gotcha. All right. This is something that just came to me right now, but I realized I need a bowl and not just gems for it. So well, you, we happen to know always... where a bowl shop is in Tower Falls. So I'd like to find one. You know, All right. Kind of... um, yeah. Uh, as, you, as you're searching for a bowl. Um, are you looking for a bowl? Yeah. That's why you, you wanted to go to the bowl shop. Want to use my bowl? Um, your bowl is a little broken, I think, if I recall. No, it it works. It's magical. Well, it's magical? What yep. does it look like? If you put a bunch of jewels in it, you're supposed to see things. This is the bowl. This isn't the bowl that he got from the bowl shop. This is the bowl that he got from uh, oh, I see. Stumblefoot. Yeah. There's what? Stumblefoot's scrying bowl that's made out of Electrum. Okay, so if you have the most useful metal in the world. Uh, so you have... <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, did that come out sassy? Didn't mean it to be. <laughs> Even plastic's worth more. Yeah, yeah. Um. Anyway, uh. So you put. Hold on. Now let me see if I'm understanding you and what you just said correctly. You take this 
electrum bowl that someone went out of their way to make and then you put a bunch of gems in it and then you can see something I think that's what I was told do you see a bowl full of gems I think you can see whatever you want oh I see how does this bowl look in general you know price wise <laughs> round it's a pretty slick bowl Callum go ahead and make an arcana check Oh, oh, I'm pretty sure I have a zero to that, but I do an 18. Uh, you can tell that this is a bowl that was that was intended for the practice of scrying. Perfect. You know, that is a wonderful bowl and I'd like you to keep it as I'm pretty sure I also can scry. Um, however, what I'm currently think of will, you know, the magic will kind of eat it up and I don't want to eat up your nice bowl. Okay. I put it back on my head. And then I start right. looking for a bowl with Callum in the rubble here. All right. One of you make a investigation check with advantage. You or me? I think you probably, based on okay, how intelligent I'm doing I am. Uh, that's a 16. Uh, okay. Um, Was that with advantage? Oh, that's not you, with advantage. You, you did say advantage. advantage. I'm helping. Uh, 17. Okay. Um, yeah, after about an hour of searching an through hour? the bowl. That's a long time that's not <laughs> Bro, okay. you're literally digging through the remains of someone's life. Yep. Trying to find a bowl that's not broken. I'm doing it for my uh, for my friend Callum. Right, but what I'm saying is that's gonna that's gonna take some time. Like an hour is not bad. I would We've got, you know, yep, I'll as take, far as I'm concerned, we have out. most of the day. If we don't have to worry until nighttime, so we should be all right. But you you do find a fairly exquisite golden bowl that is bejeweled with uh, amethyst and opal. Perfect. This is exactly what I needed. It would make a very good hat. Are you guys about done yet? Oh, yeah. We found a bowl. Yep, we got one. It's a, uh, it's kind of cute. You might say it's. Wait for it. Adorable. Adorable. <laughs> that was worth that it. That was a really good one, Pooh. I like that. Uh, Callum puts it on his head. Oh, very smart. Yes, just to keep an eye on it. You want us to look for a bowl for you? We can be the bowl hat club. The bowl boys. The bowl no. boys. No, I'm I'm fine. All right, well, me and Cap, where well, me and Pooh will. Me and I almost said me and myself, but that's what I'm so used to. It's been a long time. Uh, anyway. Uh, we could just be the Bull Boys and Wilder, I guess. Yeah. Doesn't, doesn't if you If you switch it around, you could say Wilder Bull Boys, and then it sounds Wilder really crazy. Wilder and the Bull Boys. There you go. I, I do like that. All right. Great. So now we Other need stuff. daggers, arrows, a wheel, and tools. We're doing well. And gems if we find any, but... You know, I'm pretty happy with the bowl. Meanwhile, underneath the city... The other three are still staring at each other. <laughs> I feel like I just interrupted uh, JS's Sudoku game. No, it's baseball. Um, so do you guys like crossword puzzles? Where do you have any? I don't. I'm... This is... I don't do small talk. Ah, ah, gotcha. I don't either, but I tend to find it's it's better just to be quiet than to try. I find that as well. Makes for great oh. podcasting. I'm I'm sure our um do we have anything around here that can help fix your battle wheelchair? Um, I can look, but it kind of seems as though we are just in a cave. Indeed, we are just in a cave. I'm pretty sure that I have... Well, you know, I have a hammer. And a crowbar, but... I also have a hammer. I can kind of, you know, work out the bumps, but I don't have anything that can kind of fill them in again at the end, if you know what I mean. Well, what about some beef sticks? Would that help? Um, how? I have some. (laughs) I don't don't mean to sound critical, but how? Just, I don't know, how? (laughs) You said... Fill in some bumps. So I'm thinking that is like... There. I did say that. I did. That's on me. Like, I was not clear in my communication. <laughs> That'd be awesome if we had some licorice. Maybe you could 
That does sound very Black good. Licorice. Oh no, I only like the red kind. Oh, yeah. Great. I'm going to go back to being quiet now. <laughs> Rhoda walks up to you, M, and she goes, So, where do we pee down here? Um, I believe that that corner has been established. That's where and the smells privacy? Like. I can hold up a towel. Oh, I can cast... I can cast invisibility on you, darling. Do you want me to do yeah. that? I can turn around. It's really <laughs> that not my though? thing. Does that, does that make the urine invisible as well? That's, that's <laughs> very interesting. There's only one way to find out, honestly. Oh my god. I, oh, change scenes quick! <laughs> so! <laughs> I was wondering. <laughs> I just had this crazy thought. Yeah. Wild <laughs> What if you were invisible and had to go pee? <laughs> and that's the show, everybody. <laughs> Good night. And thanks for... <laughs> so, <laughs> we broke Celeste. You have been listening to the Playing Games with Strangers podcast. With the voices of John Haryu, Kathleen Serwinski, Dave Clements, J.S. Earls, Celeste Mora, Josiah Crandall, Eric Campagno, and Steve McDonald. The theme music was written and performed by Steve Arthur, used with permission. Find more of his music on Facebook or wherever you purchase music digitally. Please review this podcast wherever you download it from to help other podcasters find our podcast and join our community. And once again, thank you for listening. A massive thanks to our Blade Level patrons, Julie Earls, Aaron Peckham, Amanda Clements, Branson Boykin, Debbie Roth, Matthew Cosby, and Random Encounters. Learn more and see how you can support the show by going to patreon.com slash playing games with strangers.